It started as nothing more than a flicker, barely a whisper in the data, a cold, silent speck moving far faster than anything that should have been out there. Observatories from Hawaii to South Africa first acquired it, their alerts nearly simultaneously flooding in before NASA stepped forward to confirm it, and an identified, unregistered object most alarmingly emanating from outside our solar system. At first glance, it looked as if it were just another rock, a traveler from the void. However, anomalies began to accumulate. Its velocity was extraordinary, its path showed extraordinary precision, and its surface reflected light in ways no conventional asteroid could. When researchers traced its route backward through the darkness, they realized it wasn't just passing through. It was heading straight for the beating heart of our planetary neighborhood. The James Webb Space Telescope turned to look at it, and it began to reveal more than just the unprecedented. It was something we may not be prepared for. It wasn't merely a visitor. If something was watching us, the entirety of what it means to explore deep space might be about to change forever. Between July 10th and July 14th, 2025, the focus of the Atlas tracking system identified it, and an identified interstellar object named 3 Atlas. In contrast to the numerous icy wanderers compiled over time, 3 Atlas defied every expectation. It moved at over 100,000 miles per hour, a speed consistent with known interstellar objects, yet incredible nonetheless. However, no one could predict what happened next. When its orbital course was backtracked, it didn't point to the outermost reaches or even the Cooper Belt near Neptune. Instead, it came from deep interstellar space, a faraway place. It had likely been traveling for millennia before entering our cosmic neighborhood. The timing was a red flag. Prior to 2017, humankind had never found anything interstellar. In the short years since, we've encountered to confirmed ones, and each one has been stranger, faster, and more confusing than the previous. In 2017, Oumuamua was elongated and moved with unexplained acceleration. Borisov in 2019 was quicker and more unstable. Now, we have three Atlas, which is brighter, more accurate, and far more unsettling. The James Webb's instruments started breaking down its light signature, but the data only deepened the mystery. The object's brightness suggested it could be massive, yet scans showed it was surprisingly small, about the size of Oumuamua, roughly 100 meters long. This contradiction suggested a surface unlike anything organic, possibly even more reflective than typical rock, though not necessarily polished metal. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who famously thought Oumuamua might have been manufactured, immediately raised the same concern here. Look for things that don't move naturally, he urged, pointing to its acceleration. If it was propelling itself, that meant intent. Three Atlas appeared to be a cosmic cross between the inexplicable acceleration of Oumuamua and the comet-like inbound path taken by Borisov, but it fit neatly into neither category. Its motion was premeditated and almost surgical. It did not tumble in a haphazard manner like a natural fragment. It rotated with unnerving symmetry, one side always absorbing more heat than the other, as if it had a structure designed for heat regulation. The web's sensitive thermal sensors picked up a small, constant, structured, not random signature. Then came the most unsettling discovery. It was making small adjustments to its course in precise increments without any observable gas, dust, or debris jets that would explain such modifications. This was not a rock drifting, pushed by sunlight. This was something steering. Spectral analysis from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center broke any remaining assumptions. The readings demonstrated carbon-based compounds in arrangements more complex than expected for natural geology. Though not definitively artificial, complex electromagnetic fluctuations hinted at unusual internal structures hidden beneath its surface. This was no mere lump of cosmic debris. It was potentially a machine. And if it was a machine, it meant it had a maker. At this point, rumors spread among scientists across continents, whispers that spoke not of what it was, but of who had sent it and why. Then, without warning, the flow of data slowed down. 
Agencies that had been sharing information with NASA and the European Space Agency began limiting their data release to closed networks. Public databases updated less frequently, the granularity of observation logs decreased, and independent researchers faced delays in accessing telescopes. Journalists probing for responses received carefully worded statements emphasizing ongoing analysis over definitive conclusions. This cautious approach ignited a new theory, something had been discovered, something too disruptive to release without careful consideration. Silence can be more revealing in space than any official declaration. If 3 Atlas was artificial, its existence could challenge numerous aspects of astronomy, politics, humanity's security, and our understanding of where we fit in the cosmos. For centuries, the night sky had been vast, indifferent, and empty. Now, it seemed to be filling with purposeful visitors over just a few years. In the shadows, a few scientists speculated about patterns to confirmed interstellar objects in under a decade, each stranger than the last. Was this a fluke, or was it the slow, deliberate unfolding of a plan? If so, was 3 Atlas the next phase or the final one? As the James Webb carried on its mute watch, a more disturbing, darker hypothesis began to take hold among those still analyzing the trickle of data. What if 3 Atlas was more than just passing through? What if it had been waiting, triggered to become detectable only once humanity crossed a certain technological threshold? Its precise approach at this precise moment in our advancement seemed too perfect to dismiss. The galaxy had been silent for billions of years. Then, almost immediately after we developed tools like the James Webb Space Telescope that can detect deep space objects, something appeared quiet, deliberate and possibly precise. It didn't feel right, like a message. It felt like an evaluation, a probe not here to talk, but to observe, maybe even to judge. The web gathered more data, the more questions took the place of answers. Was it mapping our planets, studying our defenses, or was it simply watching to check out what we would do? The thought that chilled scientists the most, people didn't think we had found anything. It was that something had found us and may have been anticipating this moment throughout. As scientists and astronomers began to investigate the web's high-resolution data, they noticed patterns that couldn't be dismissed as coincidence. The three elements' reflective properties on the surface of the atlas varied in a way that suggested dynamic thermal management, able to change its infrared signature depending on its orientation toward the sun. This was not accidental. This was controlled heat regulation, something spacecraft designers on Earth spend decades perfecting. The object's rotation period was almost constant, clockwork indicating a stability system at work, perhaps inherent to its structure, hidden beneath its surface. Interruptions were even more alarming, bursts of narrow-band electromagnetic emissions, faint but detectable, pulsing at sporadic intervals. To the untrained eye, they were a noise. To specialists in communications technology, they bore resemblance to transmissions data packets but to where and to whom. The more in-depth the analysis went, the more the line between natural and constructed blurred, until the evidence tilted heavily toward the latter. That left one unavoidable reality. If the three atlases were constructed, it was by someone or something out there. Tracing its backward trajectory through interstellar space proved challenging, but the effort paid off in the end, adding an additional layer of mystery. Its route did not align with any known star system in our immediate vicinity, as if it had been drifting or traveling through empty space for tens of millions of years. No home star, no clear starting point. This raised an even stranger possibility. The atlas might not have been aimed at any of us, at least not initially. It could be part of a much larger network, a number of probes launched into the galaxy long ago, silently cataloging whatever civilizations they encountered. If this were the case, it wouldn't just be us under the telescope. Every species that possesses methods for identifying such objects may already have been visited. That necessitated the question, why did they choose to reveal themselves to us now? Was it a cosmic accident that our instruments caught it, or had the opportunity been designed? 
The timing nod at researchers because it seemed almost like a script like the universe or something within it had been waiting for the curtain to rise. Such items could be in government labs and space agency command centers. The argument lacked any bearing on whether the three atlases were real. It was about what to do next. Some argued for active, direct scanning to send a powerful radar pulse or laser communication toward it, hoping for a response. Others warned this could be catastrophic, likening it to shouting into a dark forest without knowing who or what was listening. The James Webb team, though officially neutral, continued to push for silent mapping and observation of every subtle change in the object's thermal output, spin, and speed. Behind closed doors, the question loomed, were we prepared for the consequences of acknowledging its presence? If it already knew about us and was intentionally watching, would any action we took make a difference? The tension was palpable because the wrong move could transform a passive observer into something far less passive. Then came the anomaly that could break even the most scientifically cautious minds. In early data from the infrared instruments on the web, analysts spotted a faint, repeating heat fluctuation so precise it formed a mathematical order not randomness, not pattern, though chaotic, almost like an encoded signal written in temperature variations. The sequence was consistent with prime number-based patterns, a signature that, in the search for intelligence from other planets, has long been considered a hallmark of artificial origin. If this was intentional, then the three atlases were doing more than just watching. They were expressing themselves, albeit in a language far subtler than radio waves. Unease rippled as a result of realizing this across every team still privy to the data because if the message was intentional, there was no way to deny it. We were known to someone out there, observing, and it had chosen this exact moment to answer. In the end, as the three atlases continued their silent, unwavering journey deeper into our solar system, the truth became impossible to ignore. This was no chance encounter. Whether it was a probe from an ancient civilization, a relic of a technological era, or something older than humanity itself beyond even our most advanced theories, one fact remained. It was here, it was deliberate, and it had chosen its moment with unnerving precision. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer back over the course of billions of years, instead forced us to face the present moment and encounter not with distant galaxies, but with something sharing our present. We had been peering into the void, assuming we were the explorers, the seekers, the observers. However, the three atlases reversed that perspective. Maybe we had never truly been alone. Perhaps we had never been the ones keeping an eye on things. As governments locked away their data and the final drop of information disappeared behind classified walls, one question echoed louder than any other. If this was the manner in which they introduced themselves, then what comes next? Because maybe the most terrifying part isn't that we've been found. It's that this could only be the beginning. 